Well, many residents across the Palm Beaches and the Treasure Coast are cleaning up after heavy downpours caused some neighborhoods to flood. Steve King joins us live from Green Acres with a look at the flooding there. And Steve, what are you seeing? Well, right now the water is beginning to recede. The roadway right next to us is clearing up, but you can see that this parking lot at the shopping center next to Lake Worth Road still has plenty of flooding as this entire parking lot is basically underwater behind me. But let's take a look at the scene earlier. This is Lake Worth Road next to the Haverhill Road intersection. And this fender bender likely could have been caused in some way by the severe weather that we had on Sunday. And this was one of several vehicle incidents that happened throughout our area during the peak of this storm on Sunday. Now the roadway, like I said, is clearing up now, but there were several inches of water on it, even though the waters are beginning to recede now. And this was the scene here in the Green Acres area, but there was severe weather again across our entire area. We started the day in Boynton Beach, moving our way up to St. Lucie County, seeing some standing water on the roadway in St. Lucie County, as well as in Martin County. We did reach out to St. Lucie County Fire, Martin County Fire and Palm Beach County Fire. They said that there were no incidents or rescues to report. So that is good news there. But again, there were some incidents on the roadway. We also saw some vehicles stopping along the shoulder of the roadway on I-95 when the weather was so intense. Lots of lightning strikes throughout the entire area. Sometimes they were so close to where we were, they were almost blinding with how bright the lightning flashes were. So again, very severe weather. And today was a good reminder for people when at all possible, try to stay inside when the elements are what they were on Sunday. Back to you. All right, Steve, thank you.